So, I just tried Cava for the first time. Uh, this one I think is from the States, but uh, it's a traditional South Pacific drink. It, uh, it's, it's a plant, it's, it's, it's a root. So what happens is they, they take this root and they, dr they dry it out, they grind it up into this powder. And uh, all you do is you take cold water, shake it up, six ounces cold water, uh, two to three tablespoons, and yeah, it uh, you shake it up, and it looks like this. Uh, it looks a little muddy. Tastes very earthy. Um, it, it, it's it's almost like you're tasting mud, almost. Um, it's got about the same consistency. Um, you know, it definitely has a flavor, but the effect is nowhere near the same. Like, this is actually pretty good. Like, it says it relaxes you and, you know, it takes away your tension, anxiety, you know. Um, and, uh, it, apparently it's a alternative to, to alcohol in social settings. So you could be drinking kava and have somewhat of the same effects as someone drinking alcohol. Now, right away, what I noticed was that my tongue and my mouth and my lips started going numb. Uh, an incredibly weird sensation. Um, some, uh, it, it felt like almost as if I was doing some sort of drug, right? Um, you know, some drugs, they, they make you, your, your, your mouth and your tongue go numb if they come in contact. Um, and that's kind of what I felt. And I, I still feel the tingling. Um, but I also have a, 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 a whole sense of just calm. It's really weird. Like, I don't know. The, the, the past little bit, I've been a little bit stressed out of this and that. And, and honestly, I feel, I feel good. Um, I don't feel inebriated. Not whatsoever um i do feel relaxed though so that's nice um they did say don't let it sit for too long or else it'll it'll settle and uh, you don't want it to settle so I'm, I'm gonna finish this this last little bit uh i'm gonna you know chill out five minutes and see what happens and uh you know if i if i start to feel the effects even more then <laughs> I know that uh, my three and a half tablespoons, they're big tablespoons, by the way, big tablespoons, um, then that, that I'll know that's good for me. I think it's all dependent on uh, almost the, like the like alcohol, you know, the size of you and this and that. I, I don't know if it depends on if you've eaten or not. Uh, I haven't eaten. Uh, I did not eat before I, take, I, uh, I, uh, I drank this. But... You know, it, it, it's definitely interesting, you know. It, it doesn't taste great. Yeah, definitely doesn't taste great. <laughs> that last little bit, it started to settle. <laughs> Woo. Oh, hey. But that's... Uh. <laughs> yeah. If you're gonna drink this, do not let it settle. Oh man. Oh jeez, that's bad. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah. Well, my 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 tongue is starting to go numb again. I'm starting to get that tingly sensation, that feeling. Um, still, it's uh, it's really, yeah. Weird. I, I got it off a site called iHerb. Um, you can get cover products from a anywhere, really. Um, uh, they are a tropical plant. Um, but yeah, you can order them online. Or you can order the uh, the mix, the drink mix. I guess it's just the root, because the, the, the ingredients are very simple here. Let me... Uh, the ingredients here say that it's uh, uh, the... Oh, I can't even read that. Uh, Piper methisticum, meth methisticum root, aka the cava, the cava root, um, and then uh, organic rice maltodextrin. So, uh, I forget what the maltodextrin does. The the organic rice, 
I forget what that does. I think it's a bit of, I think it's a binding. I think it's a bit of a binding agent maybe or something. I don't know. I forget what it actually does and what it's, it's there for. But it has, a, it has a specific purpose. It's not for flavor or for anything like that. It has a very specific purpose. Because I'm going to be quite honest with you. It tastes like mud. It tastes like roots. Let's just say that. If you were going to, if you were going to eat a root of like a tree or something, like a tuber's root, that's what it would be like, right? Um, but yeah, no, I, I feel good. I feel really relaxed. Yeah. It's almost weird. Like, I, I don't, I, it, 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 it's... You know, I almost wish that I was outside on a beautiful summer's day and I could just lie in a field. You know, that's how I feel right now. You know, if I were, if I were to place my feeling as a scenario, you know, or as a setting, that would be it. <laughs> yeah, no, this is, this is nice. You know, it's not like a uh, an alcohol or a druggy, but if you did take this with alcohol, it would fuck you up. <laughs> oh, baby, it will. It'll mess you up. It'll it'll do some. It'll do something. That's for sure. It'll. Um, yeah. No, this is great. I think I'm gonna have a little more. I'm just gonna chill on it, enjoy it, because they do say when I was uh, when I was watching the video, they say that sometimes you may have to take two, three, four, depending on how big you are. But um, usually the dosage, the the the, 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 the dosage um, per serving or per drink is one to three tablespoons. That's what they say on the packaging, and that's that's one drink. That's usually one drink. So I did three and a half, just cause you know wanted to be different. Um, but yeah, no, they give you eighteen. How many was it? Eighteen, eighteen. So it was 18 ounces. No, it's 200 and 226.8 grams. And they say each tablespoon. Is that a teaspoon? Oh. Ooh, I was supposed to take a teaspoon. I took tablespoons. Oh, shit. Hmm. Well, maybe that's why it tasted like crap. <laughs> <laughs> right because uh it says here on the packaging i was only supposed to yeah see if you see right here i don't know if you guys can see that but um yeah it says like right there one teaspoon per serving I did not do that. It says one to three teaspoons. Um, yeah. It says one to three teaspoons right there. Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, no, it says one to three teaspoons, six ounces of cold water, or your favorite drink. Shake well and enjoy the cava experience. Feel the serenity and relaxation immediately. Drink quickly to avoid settling. Yeah, no, it's uh, it, it, I did all of that. I'm gonna make another one. Um, so far so good. I don't know if I'm gonna totally replace this with alcohol, cause um, you know the effects aren't nearly as strong, right? Um, I do feel. You know, starting to feel a little more. And it does kind of feel like I've got, you know, a weak buzz, if anything. Maybe I've had a shot. That's how it kind of feels, if that. Um, you know, other than the fact that my tongue went numb, there was no real other physical thing that I noticed physically. Uh, I feel very relaxed, though. Um... You know, my mood has gotten a little better. Um, a lot more, 
I don't want to say happy. I'm not necessarily happy, but I'm a little more, I feel a little more giddy. Let's just say that. A little more giddy, you know, laughy. You know, like, uh, how, how you feel after, you know, a couple of drinks, I guess. But I've only had one. <laughs> I guess it is really affecting me. I guess it, yeah, I guess so. I had one drink and I'm already, yeah. I guess I am feeling it a little more than I thought I was. Oof, maybe I shouldn't have another one. Um, it does say clearly on the packaging, though. Um, you know, should be over 18. Shouldn't be pregnant. Should be taken with any other drugs or alcohol. You know, yada, yada, yada. Don't operate um, uh, heavy machinery. You know, all the typical things that you, you would say with any prescription drugs or... You know, um, uh, um, uh, alcohol, right? So they give you all the same warnings, and I can understand why. Um, it's a very interesting drink. If it didn't taste the way it was, I think it would be a lot more popular. I really do. Um, but I could easily see this being derived into like a chocolate drink, which actually gives me an idea. Um, yeah, that actually gives me a great idea. Maybe I should try and do that. Get some chocolate um, uh, infused in there somehow. Maybe some cocoa. And kind of sweeten it up. Um, even if it is a bittersweet. Something different. Something to take away from that. Uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not even mild. Right? Um, after the first few sips though, it's whatever. Because your tongue and your lips start going numb anyways. Um... But most definitely, if you do let it settle, it's not something that you want to, uh, you want to just sit back. It's, it's one of those things where you're just going to have to uh, later on. But like I said, if you can get over the taste, um, it's great, right? Um, you know, don't let that, don't let that scare you from Cava though. Trust me. Do not let that scare you from Cava because you can mix it in other things. Uh, you know, you could probably mi mix it in milk or whatever this or that. Um, you know, maybe, uh, your favorite sports drink. I don't know. You know, um, just, you, you can mix it with anything. That's what they say, aside from alcohol, of course, but they say, you know, mix it with anything and, uh, yeah. As long as it's cold. I don't know why. They said they said cold. In the video they, that I watched too, they said cold as well. So I kept it cold. I didn't want to heat it up. I didn't know what, uh, what reaction that would do. Maybe I should try that. Maybe it has a, a greater effect. I don't know. You know, maybe you add hot water after, let it steep, tea, whatever this and that. It's, it's a whole... I think it would be a whole process and experimentation. I don't have that much kava to do a whole experimenting process. So I'm not going to do that. But, um, as of right now, I'm going to have one more, one more kava. I'm going to sit back, watch my show. It's kind of chill. Uh, they did say it also helps with sleeping, which is nice because I've been having some trouble sleeping as well. So, yeah. All right. Well, that has been my review of Cava. It, uh, overall, I like it. It, uh, yeah. Scores a, out of 10, I would say probably about a 6 or a 7. Yeah. 6 or a 7, just because it's mild. It, uh, it's not a kick in the face. You know, uh, I feel good. Uh, it would have probably gotten about an, a 7 or 8 without the taste right um but once again don't let that deter you you know it's not going to deter me uh you know the, i found the drink to be just fine you know it could be sweeter it could be it could be a lot of things as far as the taste department goes but as far as if, uh, as what it's supposed to do it's fine it's great it's wonderful actually um but yeah so hopefully this has been great, uh, a good review, and uh, yeah, you guys go out and buy Cava. All right.